for the past 40 years. Tony Radcliffe has been getting his hands dirty, yeah, building robotic automation. Some of the fun stuff, if you're walking through, let's say, Walmart, and you'll pick up a, a product and say, hey, I built that machine that makes that product. And people kind of go offish on you, you know, it's kind of neat. Even more neat, nearly 60 years later, his passion for problem solving as a kid came in handy. I just enjoy the challenges, being around this stuff. Every day seems to be different, you know. His transition into robotic automation stems from his time on the road as an audio engineer for bands like Cheap Trick and Eric Johnson. Back when disco started, uh, kind of put it uh, next to the rock band industry. And uh, what I was going to school for, electronics, um, this was the next step. So I went from basically being a roadie for a couple of years to getting into automation in the 80s. And uh, that's kind of where it started. At Big Sky Engineering, Tony's in charge of the assembly floor, about half the size of a football field, making sure the nuts and bolts of the operation run smoothly. Uh, a lot of automotive stuff back in the day. Uh, now we have everything from air fresheners to lids for Skippy peanut butter. To supplying machines for Fortune 500 companies, including Wisconsin-based Exact Sciences. What does it mean for Wisconsin? Uh, jobs, um, pride. A sense of pride that comes with making a Wisconsin quality product made here in the USA. I think American Made is real big nowadays. That said, hey, we made this, you know, we're proud of it. And in Madison, this former roadie will keep on rocking at Big Sky Engineering. It, you really mix it up. It's the same as music, you know. It's like every gig ain't the same. You know, you have, you have some good gigs, you have some bad gigs, but right now I got a pretty good gig going, so. Marty Glazer, Spectrum News.